Our dealership's looking great. It's looking fabulous through here. There's a couple bland spots, but that's okay. We can fix those. That's all good. But one thing we haven't done is working indoors. We haven't put anything indoors for a rainy day. The dealer still has to be open. And I want to have something for customers to come see indoors. So, as you guys can see from the title of this video, what I want to do is make a camper showroom. I've done this in the other RCC, and I did it pretty darn... It was, it was decent. It was pretty cool. I had some people edit the buildings to have like a glass window. It was real neat. But I'm thinking for this, maybe put three campers, like two yachts in here. I think that'd be pretty cool. I don't know. It's I Also, when we do this, guys, like I really want you guys' opinion. Because your guys' opinion is 99% is a ton better than mine. It's absolutely a ton better than mine. So as we do this, by the way, we got Mini D here, or Mini Deer here to... Uh, help put some campers in here because it is going to be a disaster putting them in with trucks but now that we got the skid steer voila perfect and then we got our trailers out front that are looking awful nice by the way if you guys have been enjoying rcc well consider smashing that like button just pounder but this area it is just it's blah it's bland it's it's just ugh. what we're gonna do jump into heaven real quick place down some trees clean this area up a little bit Boom, 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 boom. Hey, she looks a little better. She's getting there. It's looking better, I think, around here. Guys, there is a lot more work that needs to be done, though, around here to really get it looking good. Because I look out in that area, and I'm like, man, it's just, it's still, it's still too bland. Yeah, sounds good, Jimmy. You know, yeah, we can, uh, it'll probably be 30, 45 minutes till I get there. I'm going to try it. I think I got an idea. I think I got a plan to load all these up and get them on there. Okay. Yeah, 10-4. Yeah, you too, man. Sounds good. I'll see you soon. What is that? Is that a lifted Prius? To get these campers here, I think, I think I have a cool idea. I don't know if it's going to play out or work out, but I think, I think it's going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my mechanic fire up the welder and we're going to weld a hitch to the back of this 40 foot trailer. So I'm going to back it in here. He's going to work on it. He said it would take him like 30 minutes, so it won't take long at all. And then what I'm going to do is probably load one of the campers on here, try to fit a second mini camper on there, and then tow the third behind this. The only thing is I need a dolly, but the camping world, the place I'm getting it, the wholesaler, they have dollies. So everything should work out good. But the only thing I'm going to do is I probably, I really should consider bringing my skid steer because that is going to help so much when hooking those things up. But then we got to hold the skid steer back. So I don't know if that's going to work out or not. Man, I need to just get a giant semi. We need to pick up, we need to pick up. We need to fix up that L9000, man. Get that thing going. That way we can do some work with her. But I'll just back this in. Mechanic will get her done quick. Flick. Boy, I'm planning to flick you up. Okay, we're just going to put a giant hitch on the back of here. A giant ball right on the back of there. And then uh, it should work out good, I think. So you Chevy people, obviously I was just joking about this. I love Chevys. They look good besides this one. This one is just, I think, I think some Chevy people can agree on this, guys. I'm not a big fan of widened out trucks. I don't know about you guys. There is, there's definitely a market for it. There's some weirder guys that do enjoy lowered trucks that have like a wide stance to them. I'm just not one, man. I, I guess I shouldn't say weird guys. They're normal guys, but uh, I don't know. I, it's just, ugh, you know, it's ugly. I hate it. Um, so anyways, this guy came in with a Silverado. He wants to trade it in for something. He actually bought a Duramax a while back, and he finally brought in his truck. I gave him a price about three days ago. You guys never saw that. So we have this truck, and my gosh, who the heck is going to buy this truck looking like this? So that's one of the things on our project list is to get these wheels and tires fixed. It's almost like maybe this guy had it on a lift kit, and then he took the lift kit on and then just put these crappy wheels on, and it looks lowered now. I don't know. It almost looks like the truck's lowered, and my gosh, it does not look good and i don't want to i don't i don't really want i hate making fun of people and making it hard on people but man come on man if there's one thing just don't do this on your truck man but everything else he got right on the track he's got a sweet dual exhaust got to give it to the dude he's driving a chevy i like that man of course he's got tow mirrors he's got a light bar i think we can get this thing looking good if we just put a lift on it kind of put some more mud tires not as wide tires and i think we're solid here and then this trailer it needs some work inside we'll get this fixed up and then put her over in the trailer section. Yeah, nice job, Bronco. Yeah, heck of a job, man. So Bronco got this done for us. Uh, he's got the trailer attached. It's a little weirder. I got to figure out how to kind of rig that up. But uh, we got it. It'll be good. It's made to connect for dollies. So, 
it should work. We're just gonna have to go slow as we transport this. But one guy, that means we just gotta ha haul a huge load, man. The mission begins now. <laughs> this is this may be a little crazy. She may be squatting after this. We're gonna have a pretty heavy load on her, but she'll be more pulling than every anything. It won't be really, it won't be really like a heavy load because we'll be pulling a lot of trailers. We are loaded down. We got her loaded down. My gosh. Those guys were like, yeah, I've done this before plenty of times. I'm like, holy crap. Holy tamale, brother. So um, I got to figure out how to turn, man. So I'm not going to take a left-hand turn. I'm just swinging wide, brother. My gosh. Yeah. So this is what we have right now. This is how we're doing things. My gosh, dude. It's working. She's working. Sorry about your grass, Janet. You know what the crazy thing is? Is I still have to go back and pick up more, man. This is nothing. Okay, last. This is our second to last turn, pretty much. I gotta make this turn. And then we're on the highway, and we're back home. Okay. So we need to fill up. Act like we're filling up with gas, because that's how wide we have to turn. And there we go. <gasps> yup. I've never seen it where you can just look out your, uh, your back passenger window to see everything. Shout out to Owen Jones, by the way. You guys saw that down there. Some of you guys are probably like, well, squad, why didn't you just take them one by one? And that's because it's only me. And so I figured this was more efficient. It's about a two hour drive. And I just got back to town and just taking one by one just takes a lot longer. Plus, man, it's fun. Holy crap. Okay, we, we barely cleared that over there. Plus, it's fun, man. You got to get used to trucking, what, like a 60, probably like an 80 foot long load. Okay, there is no way I'm going to make it in there. We may just have to cut across our grass here. I, actually, you know what? We'll take the semi entrance. As long as we don't hit these trees that somebody just placed down like 30 minutes ago. Yeah, this should work. I hope we clear these uh, power lines up here. Yeah, we'll be good. Perfect. Hey, should we uh, should we drive across this scale here? See what she weighs. Sixty, fifty-seven thousand pounds. Oh yeah, that's definitely, definitely in the weight limit. Is I gotta figure out how to unload these. So the dolly is simple, but this one is tough because they had a machine with a cable that would just right here next to my truck and just pretty much winch this thing on here. It was smooth as can be, but I don't have that machine to unload it. This is going to be a little rough. I got the back one undone. Man, we need to clean this off too. It got pretty dirty on the trip, but I got I got the back one unhooked. We dropped and then we pulled forward, dropped the dolly. It looks like a little kid just dropping his toys everywhere. But this one is going to be the challenging one. By the way, you guys know the color notice the color theme? My truck looks exactly like this one and it kind of matches that one cuz it's black too. It pretty much matches every every color. Triple 3 to the rescue. We'll fire this bad boy up and then I I I still haven't planned out how this is gonna work but we're gonna use this to move these around now somehow I'm gonna have to reach up over the back of the truck hook up to that camper and pull it off of there I don't know how that's gonna go down exactly still haven't thought that through you know what I sh I, I really should have just told them to load it backwards that way I could have just dragged this thing off of here but it may be doing the little sk scoodle skedaddle like the whole way across here I don't know how this is gonna work Wait a second, I'm an idiot. This is actually gonna work out great. So what I plan to do is lift this up. Truck is in place. So all I have to do is do a little 360 to maneuver. Ah, oh, shoot, you know what? We need a ramp on that side. But I was thinking, don't move too quick. It's gotta be slow movements. Okay, one of those wheels is gonna come off and this skid loader is gonna be holding a lot of weight here. Job well done. We got her done. Holy crap. Okay, lower down. Oh my gosh. She's done. We just lifted the camper off here. I want to thank Buck because I wouldn't have been able to do this without you, Buck, but we got her done. Okay, this bad boy is going to go inside. Now we got to maneuver it all the way around here, and she is heavy. Man, I, I love this deer. I love this thing. I love it. So now we're going to keep backing it over here. And I could go through one of those doors probably. And I could probably maneuver it in here. But the big door just seems easier to go in. 
That way, once I get inside there, I can really angle it side to side. There she goes. She's in here, boys. So, what we got is I got the slide out pulled out. I don't have the ramp down because we'll put the ramp down on another one so people can actually go in and see it. But it doesn't, I thought it was going to take up more room than this. Also, the Bronco, she has to go. Um, not Bronco the employee, but Bronco over here uh, has to go. We'll probably move it. I don't know what this room's going to be yet. No idea. We could turn it into something cool. Got any ideas? Let me know. Because we definitely have a lot of shed space over in that shed way over on the other side of prop shop. We're on to the next camper. We got to go get the black one. The black, I don't know, black knight. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Now, I've done the Midnight Edition. If you guys know, if you guys remember from the old RCC what the Midnight Edition is. It's where we take a just all blacked out truck. And I think, was it a Ford? I think it was an F450 at the time. And then we pair it with an all blacked out camper. And then I think we had an all blacked out Razor. And this thing just looked, looked pretty cool. And then while we have the dolly here, I'm going to just go put this dolly. It's almost easier to drive by, like, pulling it. But I'm going to just go put this dolly around back. There we go. Keep her straight. This is kind of a tough game. And just drop her right there. Perfect. Just park her right by the Chevy. We're hooked on to our next camper. And we got to drag. Actually, shoot. I have to wash this one off. For some reason, this one got dirty. We cannot put it in there all dirty. And this is tough because I cannot see where I'm going. There we go. Should be close enough. Jump in the power washer. Spray this bad boy off. Triple 3G, she's pulling her. There we go, we're almost there. We'll back her in here pretty much to the same routine besides this one is actually gonna go probably out towards the middle. So we can kind of show this one off a little bit. I probably should connect it to a truck or hook it up to a truck. That's what I should be doing. But I kind of will put all of our trucks outside. Keep backing her up. Come on, come on. Now I do have a surprise. We are going to pick up some more campers and one of them has an engine to it motorhome <laughs> and we may do put a lift kit on it you guys probably know which one i'm talking about right now i guess okay we can kind of put this one out front i gotta figure out how this is gonna go but this one it'd be okay to put out front kind of so we'll, we'll we'll hype this one up put this one like right here and i gotta hit the switch for the uh rollout over here and there we go she's popping out perfect Grizzly Creek, made by Exley, the Exley company. For now, I'm just going to park the deer here, jump out, and then we got to go do another. Holy crap, dude, our F-450 is just getting pounded with mud. My gosh, dude, I actually drove through some mud. And guys, I, I just got to say this, once you drive through some mud, and I think it just, even if you power, I power I, no, legit, behind the scenes, I power wash this off like three or four times. And it just keeps getting dirtier. It is bothering me so much. But I think once I exit out of the game, come back in the game, she'll, she'll, then it, it'll like reset the dirtiness, I guess. Once I power wash her off, it probably won't get dirty again. That's nice. Check this out. So I'm still trying to figure out which door is a part of which building. What? There, dude. We have, wait. Okay, I think, check this out. So I think, I don't know what door this is a part of, but I got this secret little window where you can peek into my other building back here with storage. Then I have this door, which is a part of, I don't know what building this door is a part of. You gonna open up? Okay, I can't even open up that door. Does this door open up? Yep, it should. Yep, and then that door comes sliding up. <laughs> But anyways, like I said, if we need more storage, we definitely have the storage. Like, look at this. There is so much room in here. So, we have to go pick up the other campers. Now, I'm going to have to leave a vehicle there, and I kind of want to drive something fun. So, let's drive the truck I was just dissing about forever. If somebody sees me in it, please don't take a picture. My gosh. The Chevy Silverado. Dang, she sounds good, though. Got to give her that. And just to be clear, guys, the only reason I'm really dissing her is just because these tires look so... I, every, every time I see them, I just want to laugh. Like, it's... The truck's kind of lowered to the ground. It's got these weird tires on it. That's the only reason I'm dissing I'm not dissing because it's a Chevy. Honestly, this style, I like this style. This looks this looks pretty good. The LEDs on this thing, too, they, they look pretty sharp. We got the trailer dropped off. She's looking beautiful. 
And then I'll just park it. If we have more trailers, I should be able to, we should be able to fit something in here. I think. Yeah, yeah, we'll be good. Let's get on her a little bit. The Chevy. Here she is, the Fleetwood RV. Check this puppy out. E450, Super Duty. And we have the ADAC behind it, which the ADAC isn't, it's not going to be meant to go with the Fleetwood, but, you know, I guess this is his own little camper. You know, maybe we can just have the kids around here, toss them around, swim around, you know, but if we, if we sell this as a package, this thing is not going to stay stock for long. We got to put a lift kit on this, put 42s on her. You know, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you guys have seen that, I think that's what we got to do with this E450. I think, I think that's what we ought to do. So, we'll get this back. If it doesn't sell in a couple days, oh, she's getting a lift to her. Let's see if we can make this turn in here. Come on. There we go. ADAC's going to be touching. Oh, okay, that's nothing. But what I want to do is I'd really like to put this ADAC on some type of off-road vehicle here. I don't know what I have. Dodge, second gen? No. Um... What do I have for an off-road vehicle? Kind of. I think I pretty much have everything stock. And we could put it on a stock vehicle. Don't get me wrong. But I want to put it on something kind of cool. You know, the 2020 Tremors aren't... I was talking to Ford, and they're not far away. So, what I'll do is I'll order a white and black Tremor. Then put the ADAC on that. I'll save it for that day. And it, everything should work out good. That'll be perfect. Since the ADAC is going to be tough to back in, I got her unhooked, and then we'll use the skid steer to back her in, and then I'll put the, uh, we'll put the Fleetwood somewhere in there. I got to find a good spot for it. Uh, we'll open the door here. Get this rolly rolly door open. And then I'm thinking just right here, back the Fleetwood in there, and that'll be perfect. I don't know, guys. It's not really looking the best. Do we have lights in here? Oh, gosh, I got to get the Bronco out, too. Um, but here, hold on. Let me turn on the lights. Okay, it's a little better, but we still need work in here. Fleetwood's in here, but I just thought of an awesome idea, which could be amazing if it works. I got to test if it works real quick. I'll be right back. Maybe we're going too far out on a limb right now, but we have, I put, I, I put this stuff out here. Now, I don't know if this, this almost looks like a hobo just set up shop next to RCC. It kind of looks pretty darn bad, to be honest. So... I'm thinking we're going to erase this out of here, but I was thinking originally to put a camp, put, put a tent in here, but it just took up too much space and it looked pretty ugly. So I kind of, we kind of had this wood section out here. And I was like, dang, it looked pretty, it'd be pretty cool to put uh, tents out here, but it's just, it literally looks like we're running a hobo camp out here and we can't have that. So it's got to be clean. I love it. And I put this little fire thing around here, but this is probably going to cause a lot of issues. Somebody's going to be smoking out here. We're going to have gas and then whoop, the whole place goes on fire. I did figure out something cool that for now that we could connect the ADAC to. And it doesn't even have to go indoors, I guess. For now, I'm going to put the ADAC indoors. But we could uh, hook it up to the Bronco. Because that's a perfect off-road vehicle that can pull this. To be honest, though, this ADAC, it's pretty darn heavy. You'd probably want something a little heavier, like an F-250, like a Tremor. A Tremor would be absolutely perfect for this ADAC, I think. For now, we're going to back it in here, though. We'll just put it... Yeah, I gotta be careful with that fire <laughs> right next to the building. <laughs> we have smoke detectors in there. Man, we which we don't, but ADAC is going up in here. Keep going. Let's put it at more of an angle. And there we go. ADAC is in here. Perfect. So we kind of filled it. I was definitely thinking we could put a lot more cooler stuff in here, though. I don't know. It's a little bland. It's a little blah yet, you know? We do need some more stuff in here, that's for sure. We could put some more trucks in here connected to them like this. It's probably okay if I put a truck connected to this, I'd say. The truck for the job, the Dodge Cummins. Perfect. Perfect RV puller. Or camper puller. Toy hauler. Fifth wheel. Whatever you want to call it. But we need to get, we need to get this washed off because she's a little dirty yet. Love it. She sounds amazing, boys. Oh, dude. 
Sorry, you guys probably can't even hear me right now, but I absolutely love the sounds on this truck. Pull her in here. Just back up. Hook up to the fifth wheel. Now, actually, this fifth wheel has an adaption. There's an adapted kit that we put on this, so it's not, it doesn't actually hook up like a fifth wheel. It hooks up like a gooseneck. On some of them, you can do that here. So, we'll just get this hooked up. Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. 